Whoa. Whoa. What is that? <laughs> Play-Doh? <laughs> that is Play-Doh. <laughs> Why doesn't cookie smell like Play-Doh? <laughs> Just like that, we're live. Oh, cool. <laughs> so, uh, for all of you who recognize me on uh, this channel, I'm JD the Media Jack. Uh, joining me this time, and this is the first time we've done one of these live, is Alicia Simpson, the Iron Bikini, my Very girlfriend. Right. And no, you're looking at that one. Oh. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Don't that one's this one's mine. Yeah, yeah. that one's yours. Okay. <laughs> Okay, and you're doing the switching thing. I am doing the switching thing, okay. exactly. So, okay. uh, we've recorded live, we, we've recorded episodes before where we talk about like our travels, our fitness history, but this is the first time we've, we're recording this live on Twitch. So, mm -hmm. if you're watching this on YouTube, you're going to see some edits. So, be prepared for that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the last time we've done any sort of episode, uh, we were doing a. Uh, a life catch up as well. We uh, tried different flavored hot chocolates. Yes. And we messed one of them up. Oh, the Lucky Charms one. <laughs> yeah. 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 That was fun. That was fun. We <laughs> we ended up. Uh, it was a good thing that we did not do that one live because we ended up uh, having to re go back and record some more of it because we forgot the mushrooms or mushrooms. <laughs> Marshmallows. Marshmallows. You're close. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> saying that, uh, we do have uh, something in store for you and for each of us as we have just off to the side here an entire stack of different flavored <laughs> Oreo cookies. We should pile them on top of each other. It would look like a mountain over there. <laughs> Almost, yeah. <laughs> so we have that to look forward to. But first, um, like I said, it's been a while since we've had a ch chance to chat and get caught up. Um, so for those of you who are unaware, um, Alicia, how long have you been bodybuilding? Uh, officially, officially, 2016. 2016, so going on seven years yeah and that's with weightlifting like for competing specifically but right. i've been active since 2012 right and uh we've been together going on five years and i've been on my own fitness journey but you have helped me reach a new level of my fitness journey to the point where uh, i'm i'm training to basically see where i'm headed and possibly make it to the stage for the first time without a microphone <laughs> which yeah. is new for me yeah. so um so there's that to look forward to uh what has been going on with uh your journey um i'm just in a long off season right now okay um out of choice like i just started my off season a couple years ago and i was feeling good in it wanted to keep it going and you know, life stuff happened this year, so kind of put it off longer, which is kind of a blessing in disguise because the longer you can build, the better. Yeah. So. You and your coach have both decided uh, to really focus on building. Mm -hmm. uh, your coach is Allison. Yeah. Um, what's her What's her coaching company? Uh, Physique by Design, or she just goes by uh, Allison Ann Fitness on. Uh, <laughs> IG. <laughs> I think so, yeah. So, uh, you guys have both decided that uh, this will be a time for you for building. Yeah. Um, yeah, and yeah, there were some personal things that have come up. Um, we had to say goodbye to a, a family member uh, recently, and uh, we, you decided, and of course, I support you in this 100%. Um, all the focus had to go to taking care of. Uh, our lovely Nico. Yeah. So, with that being said, I mean, there was nothing we could have done wrong. We did everything right. Um, she was happy until 
the very end. And uh, I, don't, I don't know if you were ready to talk about this, but I think the way that it was handled and what you did with the tribute that you created for her is just amazing. Mm. Like you have, describe what you have. Um, well, they asked me like what I wanted to do you know, like cremation or burial, of course. So I said cremation, and then they're like, oh, we have this and this and this. I'm like, yep, I want all of it. <laughs> Give me the full meal deal. Yeah. <laughs> she was my first cat that I owned on my own for like over 16 years. So yeah. I had to get the whole the whole shebang. So I have in a memory um, shadow box, in a shadow box at home, mm-hmm. I have a little vial of her fur. I have little... Uh, nose prints. Is, I didn't even know they did the nose prints. So it's it's adorable. Yeah, yeah. and then little paw prints, and um, her ashes, of course, in a cute little handmade box. Mm. Uh, what else was there? Oh, a little clay paw print too. So yeah, I got everything. Yeah, and, and I've 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 been a pet owner for years. Um, I've never seen the detail and the amount of care that went into everything mm. uh, leading up to and after Nico's passing. It was yeah. just like so touching, honestly. Yeah, it couldn't have gone better. Yeah. I know there's things I worry about after the fact, like, oh, I should have did this, should have did this. But it's, you know, you can't help but worry about no. those little things. But really, it couldn't have gone better than it did. So. Exactly. But it was, it was because of that that... Uh, you know, you took a, a step away from the stage, focused more yeah. on building, and yeah. and what have you discovered with this time away from the stage with yourself and your fitness journey? What have I discovered? Yeah, because I can tell you right now, you put on a shit ton more muscle. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I put on muscle. We've tweaked my posing too, which has been really fun. I thought my front pose in particular looked good before but now it's like i would like to showcase that on stage someday soon Mm -hmm. or not soon soon but you know Mm -hmm. um i guess i i've rediscovered a healthy relationship with food that's always been a struggle for me when competing is doing the reverse properly and you know enjoying food as food again and Mm -hmm. yeah you, that is actually something that I've noticed over the years too. Is um, you your relationship and struggles or lack thereof with food is way better. Mm-hmm. Like like you've locked things away, like padlock and key. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like ridiculous stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> but that's not the case anymore. No, no, no. That's why we're eating a bunch of Oreos. Today. <laughs> That's that is why we have a stack of Oreos. Right <laughs> exactly, but yeah. no, man, I, I'm proud of you. That is incredible. Good, mm-hmm. good job. Yeah, yeah. Um, also, like, we have more fun and we have more freedom when it comes to treat meals. Yeah, and they're not cheat meals; they're treat meals. Yeah, there's a big difference. Yeah, we're not doing anything bad. No, we're really. allowed to eat food. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So there's that. And so you you put on muscle. You've 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 your posing has gotten better. Mm-hmm. You got a healthier relationship with with food and treats. Yeah. Uh, you and your coach Allison have been connecting on an incredible level. Mm-hmm. Allison's got all sorts of wonderful news of her own that she's been sharing with everyone, and mm-hmm. very proud of her for that. Um, but also, you've like really leaned into coaching me. Mm-hmm. And uh, how am I? How am I doing? You're doing good. <laughs> you listen well. I do. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You never miss the gym. You might have to shift things around sometimes, but you never miss the gym. Yeah. Um, I never have issues with with food either. Yeah. Like you almost have to convince me it's a treat meal night. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm just like I am just happy with like I'll, I'll have I'll have chicken and rice and vegetables or or turkey or or salmon rice and vegetables like, yeah happy with it absolutely yeah. ecstatic with it i get spoiled with breakfast every morning yeah because i have uh i have eggs 
and oatmeal or I'll have like protein pancakes and eggs and fruit and Mm -hmm. like I'm loving it. Everything. Yeah. That's good. So. Yeah. And even on treat days, like you don't like to feel too full. So you don't go overboard. You don't go crazy like some people do with their 10,000 calorie challenges, (laughs) things like that. I can, I can never do that. No. <laughs> and and another another reason why I never go overboard is because I, I may be 44 years old, but uh, I get nightmares that will, like, launch me out of bed. Yeah. Sugar nightmares. <laughs> Sugar nightmares. Yeah. Overeating nightmares. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so so the idea of, of overeating, um, just not in it. Mm-hmm. Not in it at all. Mm-hmm. So for me, um, with your help, um, I've gone down what, like almost 10 pounds since April, almost 10 pounds, but that's with muscle building too. Yeah. So factor that in. Yeah. So that is, that's, this is incredible to me because it's, I've lost weight, but I like, I'm clearly put on more muscle, mm-hmm. which is, I, I told you recently, like I, I have to focus on actually doing workouts instead of just flexing in the mirror. <laughs> yeah. So I'm I'm happy with that. Um, I even bought myself some of them shorty shorts that you told me to. And they were on sale. Oh yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> so. I forgot about those. Yeah. <laughs> I have to let the people see you in them sometime. Eh, sometime, sure, <laughs> sure. Uh, I've got the glossy and I've got the matte color, so yeah. I've got options. Yeah. <laughs> um, eventually, eventually. Yeah. Um, so, like, I'm very happy with how things are moving forward. Mm-hmm. And how far do you think I am from uh, pushing myself to stage presentation? I'd say about a year. A year? Yeah. Okay. You've done some good body recomp now. All we'd have to do is... I'm not entirely sure. Like, I'm not, you know, I'm not a pro, pro coach or anything. But, you know, we'd have to do a couple more calorie increases. Build the muscle as much as we can. And then, for you, I'd probably... We'd want to start a prep, like, 20 weeks out from a show. And then start cutting calories and adding cardio all that stuff so yeah about a year i i'm good with a year mm-hmm. honestly the the fact that i've like i'm seeing numbers on and i know the scale is just like a uh a temporary thing or not even like a temporary thing but it's it's not the most important thing mm-hmm. but seeing the numbers that i'm seeing on the scale and the fact that i've i look the way that i look and i have the muscle that i have but also, like, I have not been this light weight-wise in years mm-hmm. is amazing to me. Mm-hmm. And I, I can't help but look back and think about all the mistakes and errors and all that stuff that I've done getting to this point. Yeah. So. Yeah, huge difference now. Yeah. yeah. So with that, like, I'm about maybe a year out. You um, just, you're, you're comfortable where you are mm-hmm. and not really looking at the stage right yet, just enjoying the building process right now and yeah. and getting into a routine and changing things up and seeing where you and your coach can progress to. Yeah. Right. So fitness wise, like that's essentially where we are and how we're feeling. But we, uh, we took a long overdue quick trip recently where did we go uh wells gray provincial park and this like you've been there before yeah by myself once yeah Yeah. and we were there for two nights three days yeah yeah well two nights two days left the morning of the third day (laughs) yeah it's true yeah yeah and we hit how many waterfalls in those days seven seven sort of seven i thought there was more no, I think it was just seven. Mm. Not really including McDermott, though, because we only saw the end of it. <laughs> Which one was McDermott? That was the one where we there was a private property sign, and we were like, oh, maybe oh, we should. Yeah. yeah. I don't think we knew where really where to go to get to that one. So Yeah, fair enough. So <laughs> we, we, saw, we, we saw a bunch of waterfalls in the 
in the span of 48 hours. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what sticks out in your mind? Um, just how powerful some of them still were, mm-hmm. even though it's like the fall. I mean, I guess it's technically the Okanagan down there, so maybe it doesn't make much of a difference. No, no, it's still, it was pretty yeah. stunning. Yeah. yeah. Even Helmkin, like just roaring. That was the tallest one. We yeah. Saw. That, yeah. Helmkin was amazing because it was, we were up above it. If I'm remem- remembering this one, we were up mm-hmm. above it looking from a great distance down at it and it fell uh, another great distance. It was looking at like just an amazing perspective of just the height and depth of some of these areas yeah yeah and just the sound of that one roaring oh yeah. <laughs> yeah so cool yeah and um there was there was other falls too where the instructions were like it's this far away and the blah 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 and it was that one that was like it was off of a bridge and the hike apparently said like it was 800 meters when it was like maybe 20 Oh, which one was that one? I can't remember which one that was, but oh, uh, Third Canyon. That's the one off the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like right there. So yeah, we were we were like looking at the instructions online and like, okay, we got to go here, and it says the hike is this far away. We pull over, and literally hop the barricade, go down into this uh, grassy area, yeah. and like, there it is. <laughs> yeah, that was the easiest one. That was the easiest one. Like, <laughs> I actually like. I was bewildered. Like, I, I hiked around the other way to see if there was, like, a way to get down. No, no. Uh, so that was it. Yeah. So. <laughs> but that was fun. Yeah. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. Anything else stand out? Are you talking about the accident after? Oh, no. Not even. haven't even gotten to that. Okay. <laughs> there, there was, we'll get to that. Yeah. Um, uh, no, the, the falls. What's that really steep one you took me down? Um, Triple Decker or something like that. Yeah, yeah. when it was kind of muddy, slippery a little bit. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Triple Decker. Yeah. yeah. That was that was amazing. But my goodness, my calves were hurting. Yeah, and that was after already having hiked a bunch the day before and our quads were sore. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was tough. That was a beautiful one, though. Yeah. And, like, triple decker for a reason, because it was three waterfalls stacked on top of each other, mm-hmm. which was amazing. Yeah. Um, I honestly didn't even remember the accident until you brought it up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Should we talk about that here? <laughs> I mean, sure. It's the first time we had a chance to talk about it. Mm-hmm. I don't even think I shared it with uh, Daryl on Lost Signals. Oh, okay. So, <clears throat> so yeah, um, the accident the fuck mm-hmm. um we uh we were driving our way back home you uh we were on a bit of a rush because like you wanted to make it to the pharmacy before it closed sinus infection sinus yeah. infection which <laughs> not fun um we were on our way back and we were between the small little community called hickson and our home prince george and God, I, I I forgot all about it. Mm. Um, so there was a straight stretch of road, and there was this like Ford Focus behind us, and we got passed by like a black little pickup, little That's yeah, like word. a Nissan two door yeah mid sized truck, mm-hmm. and um. We were doing maybe 100, 105 kilometers yeah. an hour. The speed limit was 100. And that truck did not pass us like we were standing still, but did pass us with a moderate amount of speed. They had to be going at least 120. Oh, easily. Yeah. Yeah. So then, uh, yeah, it it passed us. Again, there was a big stretch of road, and there was a... Dodge. Yeah, but we didn't know it was a Dodge because it was a giant trailer full yeah. of hay. Yeah, that's all we saw. That's yeah. all we saw. That's right. And 
for whatever reason, I looked at you as soon as that little mid-sized truck passed us. I looked at you and I said, he's not going to make it. As they're going to try and pass the Dodge after just passing us. Yeah. They were doing a twofer. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Three. They were like, it passed the Ford Focus, uh, us, yeah. <laughs> and then was going to go and pass this this hay truck, hay yeah. trailer or whatever. Yeah. And I, I think I said they're not going to make it because mm-hmm. the passing lane was ending. Okay. Yeah, I think so. It, yeah. Because it's the only reason why I said it. That's the only, like, unless I was foreseeing the future. <laughs> Final destination. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, um, in your words, describe what you saw the very next thing. Um, well, I, it it was obvious we were catching up on the dodge with the hay yes. very quickly. Yeah. And I remember... Yeah, you said that. They're not going to make it. And then all of a sudden, um, this Dodge truck is starting to turn left. left. Yeah. <laughs> and they're still they're still going. They try to careen out of the way, but no, it was too late. They smashed right into it. Yeah. So, so yeah. We, yeah, we were clearly catching up to that hay trailer. Mm-hmm. And yeah, out of nowhere, the truck hauling that hay trailer turned left just as that little mid-sized truck went out to pass mm-hmm. and just blam the whole thing yeah and, and everything the dodge no signal lights brakes <laughs> nothing yeah yeah it yeah. was the only sign was like it was just it was slowing down somewhat noticeably yeah, yeah. that's just that's just it is that the only reason we knew we it was possibly slowing down or or braking was because we were catching up to it quickly. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no signal lights, no brake lights, nothing. And then the midside truck careened into the Dodge pickup. The whole, all of it went into the ditch. Mm-hmm. And we were right there. We saw the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. We came almost to a screeching stop, I want to say. Almost, yeah. <laughs> I was hard on the brakes. Yeah. Um, do you remember the sound? It just sounded like a giant metal smack yes, yes. like it's not at all in the movies where yeah. it's like <laughs> yeah. glass going everywhere it's just smack yeah and and that's that's exactly it, it all we heard was thwap yeah and then the whole thing it was crazy yeah um so we pull over immediately mm-hmm. and i i think i think you turned to me and said Call, call 911 9-1-1? as I was grabbing my phone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, that's a good instinct. It's like, yes. Uh, so you jumped on the phone to 911. I immediately hopped out, grabbed uh, like a pair of gloves. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't even grab a pair of gloves. I just ran. You just across went. The yeah. Yeah. You grabbed safety stuff like later. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you so, just went towards the, the yeah. wreckage. Yeah. So. Ran straight across the street, uh, saw the the small mid-sized pickup in a ditch, and and the woman in the passenger seat was hollering and screaming, but she also had like blood on her face and and was crying or something like that. But to me, instantly, I knew she's alive, she's okay. And I saw the driver's side door of that truck open. Mm. It's like okay, whoever was driving is alive and they're okay. Mm-hmm. I didn't see anything from the Dodge pickup. So <laughs> I, I feel bad to this very moment. But I I looked at I looked at the lady and went, one minute. <laughs> <laughs> and I ran over to the Dodge because I saw no movement there. Mm-hmm. And I tried to open the driver's side door, but it was <clears throat> it was dug into the dirt and it was all smacked to hell. And I said, Sir, are you okay? And I heard this begruddled voice go, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I run back over to the mid-sized truck that's in the ditch, and immediately I haul this late, this poor woman out of the passenger side window of this truck, mm-hmm. and she's into my arms, and woof up the side of the ditch I go, and it's yeah. depending on where you live, you think to yourself like, oh, like a little ditch, like no, this is it's, it's a it's an eight foot ravine type thing like yeah. it's a country ditch right <laughs> so up we go like with her in my arms and she's hollering screaming 
I think I broke my legs. I think my legs are broken. So, <clears throat> quickly, carefully put her down on the ground and do a quick assessment. And I, I, I say to her, I'm like, I don't think your legs are broken. I turn around and I see the gentleman in that same small pickup start making his way up the ditch. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. uh, by, I think by that time, other people have started to pull over mm -hmm. because, like, honestly, I'm I'm surprised I remember this much because <laughs> it was it was a blur. Mm -hmm. What was what was going on at that point in time? As soon as I came out of that ditch, well, I was on nine one one, right? Pacing back and forth, and <laughs> you were doing a great job. <laughs> you were doing a great job. Yeah, but like, what was nine one one saying? Like. Um, just asking questions about the scene, how many people, mm. injure, injuries, all that stuff. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, uh, it was at that, I, I do recall at that point in time, there was, so I had the lady on the ground in front of me. I had the driver of the pickup, uh, beside her. I assessed the fact that she did not break her legs, but she did like both knees went into the dash mm. so her knees were just messed up mm -hmm. um other people started showing up i remember there was a person who had a first aid kit and a visi vest um the woman the, yeah yeah and then a gentleman started running across the street from like behind our car yeah and he had a fire extinguisher oh yeah yeah the truck was smoking <laughs> the truck was smoking and by the time by the time I turned around to see where he was taking that fire extinguisher, the truck that I had hauled that woman out of was on fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, shit. Okay, cool. And then someone ran right past me, behind me, and started going towards the Dodge pickup. Yeah. And so the situation on the ground in front of me was fine. I ran over to the Dodge pickup, and the guy, like, hopped into the box of this Dodge trying to oh. reef open a door. Yeah. He's pushing on the door. I'm pulling on a door. We darn near folded that door in half. <laughs> wow. And got the driver out. And he, he like, he walked out. He yeah, not a scratch yeah. on him. Yeah. Yeah. So Get he a was, Dodge. <laughs> you could Dodge. Buy Dodge. <laughs> not sponsored. <laughs> um, anyway. By that time, things had calmed down just a little bit, but the woman mm -hmm. was still hollering. I think the adrenaline had worn off. Yeah. Um, that's when I called out to you. Mm -hmm. And you were just, you still focused, but still on the phone. Yeah. Um, I asked you to grab a few things from the car. Yeah. And then I grabbed them, helped the woman get comfortable. By that time, I think there was enough people there that I came back and I checked on you mm -hmm. and you were shaking about as white as this th <laughs> this mug here right right there right below James Dean um you you did a great job I was visibly shaking you were visibly <laughs> shaking yes you were but you did a great job yeah you um, too well thank you of you course. saved a woman from the wreckage I I technically saved the woman from a flaming truck. Yes, but whatever. <laughs> That's what I thought. Like I didn't know that if if the okay if the smoke is coming from the front. Yes. That's bad. No. No. The smoke is coming from the front. It's. It's not. Oh. It's not terrible. Yeah. But it's, okay. Because. Yeah. The gas tank is at the back. Is at the back. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So I didn't know that before. For all I knew, I was like. I was even standing on the other side of the road. Like, I, as soon as I saw the, or noticed the smoke, I'm like, please don't explode. Please don't explode. <laughs> yeah. I was scared for you. <laughs> Thank you. But, but yeah, um, if, if a fire is at the front of the vehicle, um, it's bad, but it's not terrible. If, it's, yeah. if the fire is at the back of a vehicle, that is worst case scenario mm -hmm. so so like when they're shooting the engine in a movie that's not gonna no, actually no. cause a big <laughs> explosion 
<laughs> so dramatic. When, yeah, yeah. Don't you know that in movies and TV shows, whenever the bad guy's driving a car, they pack the front end of the car full of dynamite. <laughs> it's just standard procedure. Anyway, so... Now you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway. Um, I think that was about it. Because yeah. by that time... Police were starting to show police up. Police were starting to show up. Or ambulances were showing up and then police. Yeah. And I had grabbed my safety gear, which was way overdue. <laughs> well, you just reacted, so. Yeah. Yeah. And then police showed up. Ambulance were there. The two people in the small truck went into the ambulance. Uh, the gentleman that was in the Dodge truck was like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. He he just continued on with his day with a ruined truck. Yeah. Um and then yeah, we were like we were the first ones able to leave the scene because we were literally the first ones to stop. So. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. gave our statement to the police and then we we left. Yeah. So I do wonder what happened to them. Yeah, me too. I wonder how the lady's doing. Yeah. She's probably still not walking very well. Oh, it's gonna be haunt her for a while yeah yeah to hit the dash at 120 kilometers an hour like oh yeah, at least yeah yeah that's just it is that when they passed us like they would like i said not not like they not like we were standing still but they were going fast yeah and then they connected with that dodge pickup broadside which basically means they hit something standing still yeah right <sighs> yeah wild so wild so, I did laundry that night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just blood on everything. I didn't know I was covered in blood. Yeah. Well, you know, like streaks of blood here and there. And yeah. Yeah. I didn't even know. Yeah. Uh, it, the, the, the blood did come out. So. <laughs> um, anyway, that was the trip. That, what a dramatic finish to our wonderful trip. Do you remember the name of the... Uh, place that we stayed uh the overlook overlook cabins yeah nice in and in cabins yeah it was pretty decent yeah the rooms they're not you know they're not super updated or anything but they have everything you need they had a little kitchenette and like we paid a good price for it too and and, and they were rustic they didn't have to be updated yeah yeah true you know yeah so they were well taken care of absolutely mm-hmm. um that was it it I don't know. Is there anything else that you'd like to share about updates? No, I think that's about it. <laughs> we we have more trips planned in the future. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Lots going on next year. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. Um, mm-hmm. And, I mean, we'll just continue on with our fitness journey. Um, before we get on to that, do you want to talk about that? And yes, I'm pointing off camera. <laughs> the Magnum yeah, thing? Yeah. yeah. So uh, we had a chance to speak with the now former CEO of Magnum Supplements, Magnum Nutrition. Marcus Collius. Yeah. yeah. And you helped massively with that interview. Yeah. I almost forgot we did that. Gotta, <laughs> gotta rewatch that one. <laughs> um, so... Uh, you told me that they got themselves a new CEO because Marcus yeah. has uh, stepped down and moved on to other things. Yep. And so I reached out to them and I said, hey, you know, how would you like to do uh, a follow up, you know, just to tell people about this, that and the other thing, updates and new products and that sort of thing. And I got a response back almost immediately. <laughs> and all of a sudden we found ourselves like uh, uh, just heavily involved (laughs) yeah um again with any luck i'll be talking with the new ceo of magnum supplements in the future uh as well as some of the athletes which will be really really cool uh they sent us a a welcome pack and you're now a magnum athlete a magnum athlete do you remember team magnum what do you remember the code my code yes your code I guess I should know that Alicia, <laughs> Alicia four eight eight. We'll we'll we'll, we'll double sh- we'll double check to make yeah, sure yeah. it'll be like right here across the screen. So yeah, there we go. Um, if anyone uses that code on checkout, uh, it's like fifteen percent off. I think so. Yeah, yeah. 
which also double check that which is yeah. wonderful that's massive savings yeah so yeah again the code will be right here <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah that's that's kind of fun and exciting i'm looking yeah. forward to that yeah that is exciting yeah did not expect that no nah, not even in the slightest you were just trying to get an interview <laughs> i was yeah uh and it's been a long time since anyone sent me any any cool free stuff so yeah um i'm open to bribes <laughs> <laughs> um anything else no i think that's the highlights i think so yeah so let's get into this you want to right. grab <laughs> right <laughs> you want to grab all that stuff there um well, i didn't have milk 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 okay. milk would have been good but this is just cashew milk oh it's probably the closest thing to milk I mean, that's not bad. Yeah. That's a good baseline. Yeah. Okay. So where do you... I think we we need to start with the one we already opened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't we, help ourselves. No, we couldn't help ourselves. <laughs> so go ahead. Wait. What? Did you know that there's upwards of 132 varieties of Oreos? I did not know that, though I do believe it. Yeah. Yeah. Including really weird flavors like... Cherry cola, Swedish fish, uh, and hot chicken wing. <laughs> I mean, I'd try it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> try it. Too. I would give it a shot, uh -huh. but. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little weird. Yeah. All right. So, the first one that we already have tried, we, we had to, we couldn't contain ourselves, is pumpkin spice. So pumpkin spice is the first that first one we tried, and I mean, might as well have at her. Thank you. Go for it. I just had the whole thing. You like mm -hmm. ate half of it and put it on a plate. I like to savor my food. <laughs> <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> anyway, pumpkin spice thoughts. That's a good flavor. Yeah. Mhm. Mm you kind of get the hints of like nutmeg and cinnamon. Not much pumpkin. Mm. But I don't know. That's still a good cookie. <laughs> I don't think pumpkin spice is really about pumpkin, though. Yeah, I guess not. <laughs> I wonder if they have, like, a pumpkin pie one, then. No, that's true, so... But, yeah, like, I can taste the spice, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Okay, so we've already busted open pumpkin spice, so we already basically knew what we were in for there. Yeah. Uh, this next one here, we'll go with this is a uh, hot cocoa cream flavored marshmallow and hot cocoa and this time we're not going to mess it up as it's it's literally just one thing it's not like we're opening up separate bags here <laughs> uh, go watch that episode <laughs> 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 to know what we're talking about <laughs> yeah i don't think this thing has oh, the, oh it does, the it does thing? yeah it does yeah, right there okay. so okay Ooh. Does it look like just normal Oreos? Nope. No. It's got the like different layers. Chocolate and like a marshmallow layer. Ooh, it's like thick too. Is it gonna focus? It's not gonna focus. Hey. Nope, it's not gonna focus. <laughs> That's fine. Alright, you're gonna have half and <laughs> just gonna have I'll have half. <laughs> Squishy. Mm -hmm. right? Squish like right through. <laughs> Donkey dog. I forgot I had that. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Once you actually get into the actual. Uh, icing the flavoring in the middle I can kind of taste the marshmallow 
and a, like a small hint of chocolate. I think it tastes mostly just like a chocolate Oreo. Yeah? I'm not really getting the marshmallow. Hmm. All right. So maybe put that one like further down. I mean, it was good. Yeah. Like all the original Oreos are there all good, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Red velvet? Do you want, yeah, this one here? Yeah. Apparently it's back. I didn't know it left. <laughs> <laughs> Red velvet cookie with cream cheese frosting. Um, <laughs> yeah. Slit appears when opened. What the hell does that mean? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> all right. I'll let you do the honors there. Okay. This is really noisy on the on the mic. Wow. <clears throat> oh yeah! Look at that. They got like a red tinge to them. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty. Mm. All right. Bombs away. Hmm. <laughs> I'm confused. Why? I, I don't think I know what red velvet's supposed to taste like. Seriously. I think it's more about texture, maybe. Okay. Because, oh, I don't even know how to describe it. I kind of get it. Mostly with the, the, the filling, though. Oh, okay. It kind of has that, did it say it's cream cheese or something? Yeah. Cream cheese frosting, yeah. <coughs> so See, I, go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. So my history with red velvet desserts, like red velvet cake, mm -hmm. is just someone dumping a whole bunch of food coloring into <laughs> cake mix. Mm -hmm. And it, it just tasted like, like a cake, like a normal cake. There was no flavor to it. So I guess mm -hmm. I'm just... I don't I, I have something like this and I think like it should taste like red. Like <laughs> it should taste like strawberries or raspberry or <laughs> or cherries or something, right? Yeah. And so I was actually kinda hoping for something. Yeah. There. I think it's more about texture. I get the cream cheese frosting and then red velvet cake. I don't know, it's just is it the frosting that makes it velvety or is it the, the like texture of the cake too? See, that's where I'm confused. Yeah. That's where I'm like, what am I supposed to be experiencing here? <laughs> anyway. It's good though. It's good. I it's would put really it good. I would put it between uh the cocoa and the pumpkin. Okay. The pumpkin spice pumpkin pie. Pumpkin spice pumpkin pie is still my by far my favorite. Yeah, same yeah. here. Um what do we got? What what is ice cream? Blueberry ice cream. This is just a small pack. Biscuit sandwich, chocolate, dengan, creme, raza, s creme, blueberry. I got, I got okay, sandwich and blueberry. blueberry. <laughs> creme, creme, ice cream. <laughs> so yeah, it is a blueberry ice cream sandwich, I guess. No, blueberry ice cream. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. There you go. <coughs> I'm gonna have the rest of this red velvet because I'm just I'm yeah. confused. <laughs> kind of thin. Are they thin or are they squished? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're just. 
small, I guess. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, it looks blue. Is, yeah, they got should a purple open, hue to them. Yeah, should open that one up. Ooh, oh, nicely oh, there done. There we go. <laughs> pointed at that one. Yeah. Purpley. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I can smell it. Oh, wow. Yeah. It smells like um, Hubba Bubba. It does. It smells just like Hubba Bubba. It smells <laughs> like bubble gum. It does. I'm, I'm excited for this one now. Uh-oh. Cookie overboard. Oh, wow. That is like a very distinct flavor. Mm-hmm. I don't even know if you'd say that's blueberry, though. It just, it reminds me of that original Hubba Bubba. Well, that is like, that's a blueberry flavor. Like this is, is it? it has a, like a, a blueberry, but also like a mint sort of kick to it. Oh, I read that in a review somewhere. Oh, okay. It has mint in it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I get, I get that now too. I feel on the side of my tongue, the mintiness. Yeah, absolutely. But this is like, that is just full of flavor. Mm-hmm. I wonder why it came in that small little pack there. Snack size. The snack size. <laughs> As opposed to this bloody thing. <laughs> hmm. Um, okay. Wow. That that's got an incredible amount of flavor to it. Yeah. Um Yeah, right there beside in the, the pumpkin pie. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <clears throat> so we have um, two, um, I'm assuming, rather abrupt flavors. Or not, I, abrupt is probably not a proper word. Mm -hmm. And two gentle flavors left. Yeah. Oh, I can't even remember what, what flavors these were. This Passion is... Passion tea? <clears throat> This is cherry blossom. Oh, right. Okay. And that one is... It has like citrus and mangoes on it. So passion fruit, maybe? Or maybe it's just mango? It might be mango. Let's try it. You do that one. Okay. Yeah, there's no English translation to it. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you're right. That one's cherry blossom. Yeah. Oh, look. Oh. That's different. It's a present in a present. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, wow. Pretty. It's all yellow. Yeah. Or it's like a pastel yellow and then like a meringue yellow on the inside. Mm -hmm. Or like egg yolk. It does look like egg yolk. <laughs> all right. Smell. Ooh. Whoa. What is that? <laughs> Play-Doh? <laughs> that is Play-Doh. <laughs> Why doesn't cookie smell like Play-Doh? <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Yeah. Wow, it's got a weird aftertaste to it, doesn't it? Hmm. It's, it's a lot more sharper than I expected. Mm-hmm. Still smells like Play-Doh. As soon as I put it in my mouth, like, Play-Doh. Yeah. It reminds me of something. Oh, that's weird. It... What does that remind me of, though? Okay, so Play-Doh is like the initial smell of it, but yeah, there is a very familiar taste to it. Mm -hmm. Let's uncover this. Like mangoes and citrus. That's mango, absolutely. <coughs> I'm not getting mango off of it, though. No, me neither. That's a weird one. Reminds me of something I've had, though. Maybe it just tastes stale. Kind of. Maybe. So I think it reminds me of something stale I've eaten before. 
<laughs> That's not the bodybuilder talking. <laughs> um, wow. If um, in the comments, if you know what flavor that is and what what we're supposed to be tasting, let us know because mm -hmm. I'm I'm at a loss here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be mango. Hmm. Interesting. Um, I'm gonna put this on the end. On the end. That's yeah. the least favorite so far. <coughs> yeah, it's it's mango. It's mango. That that's that is not mango. No way. No. All right. So I'm a little hesitant to open up this one then, because this is supposed to be cherry blossom. Yeah, I have a feeling that one might taste better. Mango sago and pomelo flavor. What is pomelo? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't know. Anybody here speak French? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not having a good time opening this. Okay, here we go. So these are all peach. Peach? Like what? Pink color. Oh, the color. Yeah. Pretty. Oh, white on the inside, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Smell. Ooh. That's different. I want some sake now. I've That's never, what I want. I've never had sake. Really? So, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> that is definitely. Seriously, I just want sake now. <sighs> That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> that's that's a that's interesting. It tastes dry. Oh really? Yeah. Hmm. It's got a weird follow to it. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I've never eaten a cherry blossom before. So, <laughs> <laughs> is it is that is it strictly cherry blossom? I don't know. I'll see if I can look it up quickly. I mean, it looks pretty. Yeah, definitely better than the mango one. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't smell like Play-Doh. Mm. What? Sakura peach blossom? So not even mm. cherry blossom, but Sakura peach blossom. Interesting. Hmm. It's a little bit better than the mango one. Oh, it, it might be cherry blossom yuzu. Oops. I don't know. We'll have to like look up what exactly they were and <laughs> yeah. the names of them on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we have peach and matcha. And I'm really curious as to what matcha tastes like because the only matcha I've had is like a booster juice matcha smoothie blah 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 and even then i'm like is this what it's supposed to taste like because mm. i don't know any different i haven't mm -hmm. even had any of this yet <laughs> have you ever had just matcha tea plain tea that's uh, where it comes from if i did it's been a long time yeah yeah i've had the matcha kit kat <laughs> I think you shared that with me. Yeah, okay. I think you shared that with yeah. me. Yeah. All right. So let, let's do this yeah. one. Let's do this one first. Okay. Because this one is just, this last one here is just big old peaches. <laughs> so. Oh. Oh. Cute. 
<laughs> okay. It has the distinct matcha coloring. Mm hmm. Dirty green. <laughs> I was gonna say like pea soup green. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's got a very unique smell to it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it smells like tea. It kind of does, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I guess if you're a fan of matcha tea, this is like right up your alley. It's an acquired taste for sure, but it can be good. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Hence the plates. <laughs> I keep missing the plate. <laughs> oh, wow. Is that like minty too? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right off the back end there. This does take like... Okay, so this does taste like matcha. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. They nailed, <clears throat> they nailed that flavor. I think. Mm -hmm. Still not my favorite, but no. I'm like I would not. I wouldn't. I wouldn't delivery deliberately go out to to buy this. Yeah. So. I feel kind of healthy eating it. <laughs> 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 healthy by default. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> um. <clears throat> what are you thinking? Mm. Uh, I'd put it after the hot cocoa in between the weird mango thing. <laughs> in between hot cocoa and Play Doh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. Okay. Here's the last one. Show the camera. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. Peachy. Peachy. Like the the mint flavor off of that matcha is like still lingering. Yeah, like in the middle of the tongue. Mm -hmm. Very cute, adorable little packets. Yeah. I'm just waiting for it to explode. <laughs> like I need to get cookies in my lap here. It's an Oreo catastrophe. Mm. <clears throat> okay, what's that look like on the inside? Sure. Mm. Ooh. Oh, nicely done. Mm. Good break. Kind of peachy looking. Yeah. Smell? Ooh, it smells like fuzzy peaches. Oh my! It that is like <laughs> if if you held this up to someone's face and like blindfolded them, they go. That's fuzzy a, peaches. That's a fuzzy yeah. peach. Like that yeah. is fresh off the tree. I mean the candy. Fuzzy peaches, the candy. Yeah, but still, like yeah, like that is yeah, the stink strong. peach flavor. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa. Like absolutely, like spot on. Wow. That's surprising. It almost tastes wrong. It's so right. <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. Like, my brain's going like, how is this a fucking cookie? Mm-hmm. Wow. It's like Oreos and fuzzy peaches got together and made babies. <laughs> <laughs> And now we're eating them. <laughs> <laughs> that was like, that's like even the aftertaste, mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't that's have that good. lingering mint, which I feel like the two that had mint in them as kickers is like cheating. I almost feel like it's cheating. This yeah. is just, that's fantastic. That's a beautiful flavor. Mm -hmm. That goes after the... Oh, I don't know. I forgot about that blueberry ice cream one. 
Oh, yeah. And blueberry ice cream one was pretty darn good, too. Mm -hmm. I, would, I would put it between blueberry and the pumpkin pie. Yeah? Yeah. I concur. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, that was all of them. Unless We're, you got something else. Nope. That's it. Okay. We are sufficiently hot for <laughs> <and> sugar. <laughs> we are sufficiently cookied. <laughs> um, all right. So, we had supposed mango, which is just Play-Doh, um, <laughs> and then matcha, and then cocoa and marshmallow. Mm-hmm. Then that one there. Red velvet. Yeah. No. No, no. The the peach blossom. Mm -hmm. Then red mm -hmm. velvet. Then the blueberry. Then this peach wonder. And at the very top, I think our favorite is uh, the pumpkin spice. Yeah. Wait, were you just listing them in order? Yeah. Oh. Oh, you got some of it wrong. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what is it then? Um, pumpkin spice first. Pumpkin spice first. Okay. And then the peach. Peach. Right? Was it the peach or the blueberry ice cream? No, it was the peach. Absolutely peach. Pumpkin spice, peach, blueberry ice cream, red velvet, hot cocoa, the, uh... Peach blossom. No. Uh, matcha. Matcha. Okay. And then peach blossom okay. and then mango. And then mango Play-Doh. Yeah. <laughs> Which is unfortunate. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I I'm wondering like you're right, that that smells like like that's what's left over of the um cocoa Hot and cocoa. marshmallow. It taste it smells like chocolate. Just chocolate Oreo, yeah. Yeah. Which one was this one? Oh, that's the blueberry one. Oh, <laughs> 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 cool. Anything else? No. No? That was fun. That was fun. Um, if you have any suggestions as to other things that we should try, uh, we're not limited to candies and cookies, clearly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we started off this thing with Pringles. Yeah. Uh, you can let us know either on social media. You are available. Alicia Simpson 13. On Instagram. On Instagram. And Alicia Simpson uh, Iron Bikini on YouTube. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, you can find me everywhere as the Media Jack. That is... Uh, the website is the best place for it, uh, themediajack.ca. It's also where you can find our merch, as we have uh, the Iron Bikini merch, as well as the Media Jack merch, and some fun new uh, workout shirts. And uh, there'll be uh, new products coming in the future. So we're looking forward to that. And I hope you're looking forward to that as well. Again, themediajack.ca. And um, the Magnum supplements code alicia 4888 <laughs> again it will well, be right here 15% yeah. <laughs> <laughs> off your next purchase off of anything uh off of the uh anything listed on the magnum website which the link will be in the description down below i think that's it do i have oreo on my face do you have oreo on your face <laughs> no, you, don't. you are good i do have oreo on the floor though and possibly in our teeth. You're good. Really? You're good. Yeah. <laughs> so that much is you're 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 solid there. I'm <laughs> I'm not gonna show my teeth because so, <laughs> I could feel it in there. <laughs> anyway, thanks very much for joining us uh, again. That's Alicia Simpson, the Iron Bikini. I'm JD, the Media Jack. Oh, I gotta get that. Look at oh, look at that. I can't you see, see it. that right there. Holy <laughs> Christ! There you go. Eat your Oreos. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for making it to the end of this episode. And if you don't mind, whatever it is that you are enjoying this episode on, be it on YouTube, the video form, or wherever you're listening to this, just please give me a follow. That way you can keep up to date with new episodes as well. It shows me that you are listening and you want more content. And also, it helps me out a lot. So if you don't mind, follow, subscribe, whatever it is that it is possible on this platform of your choosing. And if you want to support me further, themediajack.ca. There is Patreon. There is also other episodes and how to enjoy those. And there is a merch store. 
And of course, if you join me on Patreon, you can actually get a shout out and be invited to ask questions to future guests or get a credit just like our executive producer yet again, Red Wolf Don. Again, themediajack.ca is where you can go for all of that and more. Thanks for joining me. Take care.